probably next three to five years, we're getting one out of uh, one out of three kids under the age of 25 is spending an hour a day playing esports and for or playing video games. And for every hour you play, you watch another hour so you can get better. <laughs> and uh, globally, we just had a 16-year-old win the Fortnite World Champion for three million dollars. So we now have 100 universities giving varsity scholarships to go to college by playing video games, and they get to keep their winnings. So why would you go to the NC2A where you're working your ass off as a football player to get your college <laughs> tuition paid if you can do esports and keep the winnings in their million-dollar prize pools? And it's probably so a lot more fun. So all of that means that the th a lot more fun, and these kids love it. So I think um, we basically have two, 450 million viewers of esports right now. And increasingly, we're going to see this higher profile in the U.S. as price pools get bigger. But when we say traditional media loses out, we're really talking also about Netflix. I mean, I know Reed Hastings had mentioned that in jest, sort of. I, I believe it was the first quarter conference call or maybe the fourth quarter where he said Fortnite was one of its number one competitors. Um, how badly will those sorts of streaming services feel it since that is what the teenagers are watching. They're not watching, you know, CBS necessarily or, or ABC. I think it's a big problem. Like Reed used to say that his biggest competitor was sleep. But these Fortnite players play three hours a day. So he's right. I think they're actually playing Fortnite more than they're sleeping. So I do think it's a problem for all of these over-the-top services if these kids are. And by the way, when you get legalized sports betting, if you get sports betting on eSports, I think that elongates engagement more. Because if you bet a dollar on a certain winner um, out, of 100, uh, out of 100 Fortnite players, you're going to stay till the end of the game to see if you won your $3 for the dollar you bet. So I think more and more of these interactive games and competitive games are going to take share from all streaming services.